Hi everyone, it's a pleasure to meet those who love physics and math. You could call me Mr. Ivan, and today we'll, let's talk about this particular problem, about triangles. An equilateral triangle ABC has a side of 63 inches. On its angle bisector AP lies a side of another equilateral triangle KMN, so that AK is equal to 7 inches. And the right triangle side length is also 7 inches. So we have to find the shaded area, the yellowish area. K KP and something. Uh, basically, what to start with? Since we know that we have angle bisector in equilateral triangle, it's not only angle bisector, it's also an altitude and a median, right? From here, we could state that BP segment is half of 6 root 3, yeah? So BC is also 6 root 3, since it's median, let me do it like this, BP is equal to PC, I would just say that BP is equal to 3 root 3. And what does it mean for us? It means that triangle ABP is also 30-60-90 triangle, right? But maybe it's not so important at this point point, since we have to find Kp somehow first. Uh, what else should we know? What else should we mark? We should mark that angle BPK is the right angle, right? BPK is the right angle. Same as Kpc. Let's call this uh, also maybe T point, Kpt triangle, let's call it. Well, if so, if we know AB and BP, and we know it's right triangle, if we know it's 30, actually, if you remember 30, 60, 90 triangles, let me just briefly show it. 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if we say this angle is a 30 degrees angle, and this side is A, obviously the hypotenuse is 2A, but also you might remember that the other leg is a root 3. So you could calculate this way. AP is 3 root 3 times root 3. Or you could use Pythagorean theorem. Or you could use sines and cosines if you know that. Okay? So AP is equal to BP times root 3. which is 3 root 3 times root 3 is 9, yeah? So this way, or just by Pythagorean theorem. Another way to calculate, just to say AP is equal to square root and then 6 root 3 squared minus 3 root 3 squared, okay? Also possible to calculate this way. You could check. It gives you the same answer exactly. It's 9. So now we know AP is 9. Means if we subtract 7 from 9, we'll get KP. KP length is just 2. So here is 2. And that's really cool. Then we're told that KMN triangle is also equilateral. Means all angles in this triangle are 60 degrees. Mm -hmm. So I can mark maybe like that. This angle is 60 degrees angle. 60 degrees. Means the other one here is 30 degrees again. 30 degrees. So we are now working again with 30, 60, 90 triangle. And that's really cool because this is a very comfortable triangle to work with. And again, following the same rule, PT is equal to 2 root 3, as we just mentioned. You could, of course, calculate it using Pythagorean theorem, first mentioning that this side is equal to 4. But even without that, yeah, even without that, you could simply speak and say that PT is KP root 3. 
which is just two root three. In a sense, we even do not need to calculate kt in this particular problem because we are asked to find the area. To find the area, we only need the leg, the other leg. Let me mark it again here. Two root three. Okay, and now we only need to remember the formula for the area of triangle. And especially for the right triangle, we usually deal with legs, right? The half of the product of the legs is the area of triangle. Okay, the area of KPT triangle, KPT triangle is one half times KP times PT. That's it. Now we simply substitute the numbers and we are fine. KP is 2. PT is 2 root 3. 2 and 2 are cancelled out. And we have 2 root 3, the answer to this particular problem. Okay, that's perfectly done. Area is 2 root 3. You could ask, we have mn equal to 7. We know this is a collateral triangle. Why didn't we use it? Sometimes it happens that you are given extra data in the, in the problem just uh, in order to be a bit confused and to really be attentive what you should use and what is just something additional without any use. Okay. Basically, on this problem, we could make some other problems, interesting ones, to figure out um, some other distances, for example, of some segments. Or we could do even more constructions here and talk about them. But basically, at this point, we are done. The area of the shaded triangle, KPT, is 2 root 3. Thank you for watching. If you like this short problem solving, you could press like and subscribe. If you could ask any questions, I'll be happy to answer. If you could suggest any topic to do, let's do them together again. Okay? Thank you and see you in the next videos.